Hey guys, so I normally don't use a recipe for most of the things that I cook, so I figured I would switch it up for this video and just do a recipe on the things that I've found in my kitchen um, or my pantry, fridge, whatever. So I have some peas, some mushrooms I need to use up, um, tomato paste, um, some ground beef and an onion, and then a few of my seasonings, some taco seasoning that I need to use. So I figured I'd make some kind of casserole of some sorts. So, hope you guys enjoy this random recipe, and um, if you like more recipes like this, let me know in the comments down below, and give this video a thumbs up. So while the meat is cooking, um, I found some ricotta cheese in my fridge um, and also some mozzarella cheese, parmesan cheese. So I think I'm going to, I don't know, make a topping for it. Maybe do like a noodle-less, low-carb lasagna kind of thing. Who knows? I made more ricotta. I ended up using the whole container, so just know that. Whole container of ricotta. And then I'm just going to put it on every side that isn't covered. So I don't know, maybe like a faux, a faux shepherd's pie or, yeah, I guess we'll call that. A fake shepherd's pie. <laughs> So it probably doesn't look the greatest right now, but all the flavors are coming together and they taste really good. So we'll see how this turns out. So it has just come out of the oven. 
Um, I would suggest just let it sit for a little bit so that the cheese can get all nice and settled. So it's not like oozy and spilly like a little bit. So far it looks good. I think it's gonna taste pretty good too. It's kind of crazy because um, the cheese and ricotta mixture actually kind of looks like mashed potatoes. So um, I guess this ended up being a low carb shepherd's pie in a way. I'm not too big on carrots, so that's why I didn't have, well, I didn't have carrots anyways. It's just a random recipe that I kind of threw together. So if I was to make it again, I probably wouldn't add carrots because I don't really like cooked carrots, but peas I can deal with. I also feel that you can um, kind of switch up this recipe too if you wanted just to put um, like beefless ground beef if you wanted to make a vegetarian. So yeah. I'm excited to taste it. So let it cool for about 15 minutes, like I said, um, so that everything can settle and get all nice. Can't wait to try okay, it. Hey guys, so I just got a little plate just to taste test it. Cool, hot sauce too, because you can never go wrong. But it's so crazy because the ricotta really looks like mashed potatoes, kind of. Let's try it. Mm-hmm. It's really good. And I don't even really like peas, but yum. Try to be out, guys. <laughs> it's so good. Really good. Low carb shepherd's pie. Check it out.